Is
The, the way in which it has been uh, refurbished and uh, restored to such beauty and uh, it's, it's a wonderful train. Train travel, do you like it? I do very much and I've been pleased to travel as president on the um, train in the presidential coach. I think it's a great way to travel. And the presidential coach is, is hitched onto a scheduled train? It's hitched train. onto the scheduled train and in fact it allows you to arrive at your destination fresh and ready for whatever um, uh, duties. Uh, are, yeah, but, uh, we, 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 we must say to you, uh, congratulations. Well, Nicholas was with Audrey, Audrey last night when he won the prize. Uh, is he, did he go to school today for, for oh, a start? he went to school this no, morning, yes. You didn't let him off on account of winning this big prize for, for riding it? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, and you're going to travel? to Dunleary. That's right, yes, and uh, I think it will be a wonderful experience. I'm hoping to have an opportunity to inspect the train first, just to make sure it's in full working order, but well, I believe it is. And, and the, the, not only the train, but the men who, who drove her this morning and fired her with the, all the difficult work are, are in great form as well. Luke here and Gurumina Mahogut. Cara Fitzgerald, um, I know, and we all know that you are that you're great interest in, in airline timetables, but we didn't believe you were interested in railway timetables oh. or railways, but you are Vice President of the Preservation Society of Ireland. That's right. Well, I was asked after I ceased to carry out other duties as teacher if I would uh, join the society. I was very happy to do so. They do wonderful work.
great journey. I enjoyed oh, everything. Hello, how are you? Hello. 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 Occasional passenger trips, 
I remember the drum trains as well, because I lived in Bray before the war and had many trips, so the it's a particular pleasure for me to offer you this memento of the inaugural trip, number 461. to mark our gratitude to the National Heritage Council to contribute the restoration of this locomotive, uh, presenting the chairman of Lannan and a plain picture of the locomotive. Where is my There you are. Thank you. here today um, as guest of honour on the wonderful um, trip from Pier Street Station um, to Dundee um, in Locomotive 461. When I was elected president, I was a little bit taken aback, very surprised at the number of people who in one way or another said to me, enjoy it, enjoy it. <laughs> it's quite amazing how often this is what people, they still say it, you know, enjoy it. And I have to say that this has been one of the most enjoyable mornings and uh, days of celebration, because um, I think we all have a romantic love of the steam locomotive, and uh, what a very fine, beautiful um, train uh, to not only have the opportunity to travel in, but I was able to get into the engine or into the um, back of it and inspect and see in what beautiful condition it's in, and uh, the enthusiasm um, of the um, drivers, and indeed the enthusiasm of everybody here. I was introduced to um, a number of people, all described as workers, um, and I think I understand what that means, that a great deal of voluntary work goes into um, the preservation and indeed the maintenance of a very important part of our heritage, I think a part that is very dear to us. Certainly I've been um, delighted uh, to um, take the opportunity of to travel by train, travel in the presidential coach, as I did to Cork when I was um, receiving the freedom of Cork, as I've done to Galway, as I intend to do again, because it's in fact a very good way to travel and also I think underlines the um, values. I've been delighted to see so many people here from Northern Ireland and to know um, how strongly um, the uh, Railway Pres Preservation Society of Ireland um, is uh, supported and um, uh, indeed enthusiastically, um, I think a great deal of leadership has been given um, in um, the North of Ireland. I'm also <coughs> very pleased to meet the representative of the Chewham um, equivalent. Um, I have to speak for the West of Ireland as well. <laughs> and indeed, uh, to have met the representatives of the Railway Museums. Um, again, I think this is a, a very important dimension. And I must just mention one other um, uh, man that I had the pleasure of meeting this morning, uh, Mr. Murray. You may be surprised that I mentioned him. He told me that he remembers he was standing in Pier Street Station when this train was delivered um, in 1922. And I think that's um, he's involved in railway records, and I think that's a wonderful memory to have. The day this train was delivered in 1922, and to be with us today, and to celebrate um, a very graceful um, coming of age again of number um, 461. So I'd be delighted uh, to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank